let us solve question number 14 guys a question from electrochemistry 250 ml of waste solution obtained from the workshop of a goldsmith contains 0.1 molar AgNO3 and 0.1 molar AuCl the solution was electrolyzed at 2 volts by passing a current of 1 ampere for 15 minutes so let us quickly note down the important data what is there 1 ampere for 15 minutes okay 0.1 molar and 0.1 molar of AgNO3 okay the metals electrode deposited will be okay so what they have given E0 of Ag plus is 0.8 and E0 of Au plus is 1.69 what are the options silver and gold in equal mass proportions silver and gold in proportion to their atomic weights only gold only silver so what we have to do is we have to first see the amount of charge that we are passing and we'll find out the moles of the electrons that are passed let's see so what we have is q so q will be how much 1 into what is the time they have given time is 15 minutes so 1 into 15 into 60 so this will be the charge in coulombs so how much of moles of electrons i'm passing so moles of electrons will be equal to how much this will be 1 into 15 into 60 divided by 96500 so this is the moles of electrons that we are passing in the solution let us check the moles of au so how many moles of au i have let us first calculate the millimoles so millimoles of au would be equal to how much will be equal to 0.1 into 250 so 0 0.1 into 250 so that is 25 millimoles we have how much 25 millimoles so how many moles of au guys so moles of au would be 25 divided by 1000 that is 1 by 40 so we have the moles of au we have the moles of au and we have the moles of electrons that we are passing so this will come to how much this will be 9 upon 965 so we have the moles of electrons that are passed and we have the moles of au that is there and if we look at the electrode potential au has a higher electrode potential as compared to what as compared to ag that's why what will be deposited au will be deposited and if i have moles of au less than the moles of electrons then only au will be deposited guys understood yes or no a moderate level question guys just that we had to calculate what we had to calculate the moles of electrons and moles of au so answer is option three okay let us move on to the next question guys question number 15 a question from organic chemistry the major product c of the following reaction sequence okay so what do we have we have a aldehyde group and we have a double bond to that first we are adding nabh4 so nabh4 will do what nabh4 will reduce cho will it reduce the double bond no it will not reduce the double bond okay then we are adding socl2 what will SOCl2 do? SOCl2 will react with OH and it will give you what? And it will give you a Cl. So what you will get? First, starting with this. CHO. So first we add a NABH4. As we add a NABH4, what do we get? we are getting a CH2OH then we add SOCl2 
so this will get converted to this will get converted to Cl and after that what you're adding you're adding a benzene ring in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 you're carrying out friedel grafs alkylation you're carrying out what friedel grafs alkylation as we carry out friedel grafs alkylation over here so what i'll get in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 so this will give you CH2 double bond CH CH2 and here I'll get a benzene ring attached okay yes are you understanding guys till this point okay now what after this you are adding what let us check after this we are adding a dbr so dbr is what d is plus and br is minus right so where will br go br will go on the second carbon that is if i take this as the first carbon this will be the second and this will be third so br should go on the carbon which has less number of hydrogens so ideally br should go on the second carbon but what will happen if i have a carbon which is carrying a positive charge over here then hydrogen from the first carbon will shift on the second carbon okay so br will go where br will go on the first carbon because the carbocation over there will be more stable will be more stable so if i add a dbr over here so the product which i will get will be ch2 this is attached to d ch2 ch br and this is your benzene ring so the product over here is what the product over here is option three guys is this clear so we have looked at all these steps very carefully and we have jumped on to the product guys is that clear guys okay let us move on to the next question so a question based on hybridization the molecule in which the hybrid molecular orbital involved only one d orbital of the central atom xcf4 so if i'm talking about xcf4 so what is the hybridization of xc xc will be sp3 d2 ni second option minus 2 this will be dsp2 a square planar complex crf6 a octahedral complex so octahedral complex that to a outer orbital complex so sp3 d2 right brf5 so the hybridization of br in brf5 will be what this will be sp3 d2 so if you look at all the hybridizations that we have written in which hybridization only one d orbital is involved that is in nick tetracyanonicolate 2 so the answer over here is what answer over here is option two okay question involving some concepts of hybridization a easy question okay let us move on to the next question